Jake Rockwell, Rugged Land Operations Specialist. Hey everybody, welcome to the Toy Review. On this one we have... Jake Rockwell. Jake Rockwell of the Centurions. He is the Rugged Lands Operations Specialist, donning a yellow power suit. He, is a short f he has a short fuse, his weapon systems are the most firepower have the most firepower and are best suited to land missions, except for a helicopter theme system. He uses an air combat, usually assisted by Ace. Nice. So he has a bit of everything. Yep. So again, like you see with um, most Centurions, you got the little holes where you put the weapons in, in practically the same place, or not practically, exactly the same place. Yep. And same kind of build and everything. I don't think any of them are bigger than the others, are they? No, not really. Pretty much the same build, same articulation, just a different head, practically. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all exactly the same tallness as well, aren't they? Yep, they're all the same height. So, all practically the same. So, yeah, it's just a head that's different, so we might as well see him in the suit. Jump, go. So this is Jake Rockwell's Fire Force system. So as you can see, he has a gun here. He has a radar system here. He has a Gatling gun on his chest. And he has a rocket launcher, or missile launcher, whatever you want to call it. Um, the missile launcher can be plugged into the back, but I just thought for, for this review, I thought I'd put it on his shoulder. It does look cool on the shoulder. It does. So, as usually, as usual, should I say, sorry, um, the action feature is activated by doing the chest, which is kind of sort of cool, quite cool on this one because with it being a Gatling gun, they yeah. turn. <laughs> so it sort of makes sense. And it's not working. And it doesn't work. Yay! Oh, I forgot that's if you do it at the back. If you do it on, <laughs> on the shoulder, there is actually a lever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And it's still, just like the other one, it's a great um, firing. It doesn't like, it's not a flimsy little shot or anything. It fires quite well. And yeah, like you said, if it's on the back, you use that as a turn. If it's not, then you press the lever. Yeah. But we forgot. <laughs> there is a little lever on the top there, as you yeah. can see. But um, no, he looks cool. A bit over the top. Well, they all are, though, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Well, that's what I love about them. They are very 80s and very just over the top. There's guns everywhere and just, <laughs> they are just crazy looking. I absolutely love them. And um, like the suits, um, for each one of them, you can get separate suits and they are insane looking. Yeah. Literally insane looking. Hopefully, I can get some pictures of them um, on here. But uh, yeah, the crazy, crazy toys. I would have loved them when I was a kid. Uh, so, is there anything else about this guy? We've got a little bio on it from everything. Oh, we already read, already read that. Oh, I read that. The bio. Oh, we did, didn't we? Um, to be and and for a little bit of trivia, um, Jack Kirby, the legendary um, Marvel comic artist, he actually had a hand in the design of and creation of these characters. I did not know that. So there we go. So that's a little very bit of trivia. Yeah. But uh, yeah, everything's built very, very well. Even the um, the missile, very thick, very lovely. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I still, I've got to say, Max Ray's probably my favourite guy, just because how bright he is. Mm. And everything. It is really bright green, and I like his costume, I like his action feature. And then probably Ace McCloud, and then this guy, I can't remember his name. Jake Rockwell. Jake Rockwell. I should remember the names, because <laughs> it goes with their job. <laughs> it's like having Mr. Mr. Sausage as the butcher. Ridiculous, um, the names, but they're very 80s, like I said. But um, yeah, just everything is cool about them. I absolutely love them. It's just, yeah, just you, you can't get, you can't make these anywhere else but the 80s. Yeah. Just because how over the top and ace they are. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love them. I think they're really cool. I love the fact that you can just pop the weapons anywhere. It's not like oh, you have to clip that there and you have to pop that there with pretty much any other figure. Yeah. I've never seen a figure where. You do what you want. You make the figure unique to you, yeah. where you prefer the weapon, and I think that's such a good idea. So um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. Really, I just I really really like them. I just have to sort of he sort of moved there by himself. <laughs> um, I have to echo what Daniel says. It, I, one of the reasons why I love them so much because they just look so cool and so ace, and I just had to have them. Mm. Um, these were one of the last things to join my toy collection before I stopped collecting. But I'm really glad that I did. They cost me a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly £200 for all uh, three. But I think they're definitely worth it. Yeah. They are really, really cool. I don't know how much the other suits would be going for. but <laughs> They tend to go for between 30 to, you know, 30 plus. Yeah, them, yeah, and some of them come in boxes, etc, etc. God. But um, no, I really like them. I think they're a really cool toy line. 
Um, are these the only Centaurians that are released? No villains released or were they? There was two villains released, and they had their own power system. There was Doc Terror and his partner Hacker. Ah, uh, great names. And they were sort of like half and half, like half machine, half, and you could actually like sort of, so you could take off one half of Doc Terror and attach it to the other half of. Hacker. Okay, that's very cool. And they had action features as well, where you know, um, one of them had like a, a claw, and the other one had like a, a mace sort of thing. So they did have villains, and then they also had um, robots as well, which again you could mix and match them. Nice. As well, so there was villains as well, Doc Terror and Doc Terror and Hacker. Great name. Um, yeah, absolutely crazy um, toy line. Absolutely love it. Um, I don't even know if the toy line did well at all. Um, it's not that memorable. I don't. I don't really because I didn't watch it. I don't really know much about it. If it was a massive thing for a while, it, or... I think it was more of a like um, of a maybe not a one hit wonder, but that sort of thing where it was popular for a very short time. Yeah, I think mostly in America mm. it, where it was more popular, definitely, but not not popular enough. Yeah, but it, they are cool. I really like them, and I wish I did. If oh yeah, I really wish I did have them with kid. Yeah, even if it does have one of them, I just think they're really cool. They are very cool. So yeah, that is um, something Rockwell, I can't remember his name. Jake, Jake Rockwell, there we Jake go. Jake Rockwell. Jake Rockwell of the Centurions. Uh, yeah, and that's the Centurion figure reviews. Hopefully you enjoyed them. If you've only seen this one, uh, there are two previous ones, so please check them out. And hope you enjoyed them. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye.